Now look at the picture and we have to learn about the sympathetic and the parasympathetic innervation of the abdominal viscera. Here you can see the cut section of the spinal cord, right? And on its both sides you can observe the sympathetic ganglia chain, right? And uh, let's see how sympathetic innervation takes place. Concentrate, this is T5, T6, T7, T8 and T9 spinal segments. They are joining to form the abdominal pelvic splanchnic nerves, right? And they are gonna supply various viscera's in the abdomen and they are entering into the celiac ganglion. Now concentrate that uh, the greater splanchnic nerves being represented by the dotted lines and they are the presynaptic sympathetic or preganglionic sympathetic fibers because they are coming into the celiac ganglion which is also called as prevertebral ganglion right now look into the spinal cord segment again and see the t10 and t11 they are joining to form the lesser splanchnic nerve again entering to another prevertebral ganglia and you name it as aortico renal ganglia right and again these are the preganglionic or presynaptic sympathetic fibers the dotted line represents so right and uh, then you have to look that the t12 spinal cord segment is going to give rise another splanchnic nerve called as least splanchnic nerve that is also joining this aortico renal ganglia right and uh, now what they have to form now from here from these ganglia so many post ganglionic sympathetic fibers are supposed to reach the respected viscera's as you can see and uh, these are supposed to form or they have to run along with the any arterial structure or any artery major artery like uh, this is celiac ganglia you can say that uh, this plexus could be around the celiac trunk and uh, now you can see other prevertebral ganglia like the superior mesenteric ganglion and you can see the inferior mesenteric ganglion and uh, when the fibers of the preganglionic sympathetic innervation come and reach towards these respected ganglia from here postsynaptic fibers they are gonna reach to the various organs and these postsynaptic fibers are supposed to supply them so from this we should learn that these periarterial plexus they are being formed by the postsynaptic or postganglionic sympathetic fibers because they are supposed to wind round the arterial structure right now again concentrate that how lumbar splanchnic nerve is formed c l1 l2 l3 of the spinal cord segment and from here you can see the sympathetic preganglionic fibers are going to form the lumbar splanchnic nerve right and uh, they will join the inferior mesenteric ganglion and from here the postganglionic fibers are supposed to supply the abdominal organs right? So far we have learned about the sympathetic innervation. So concentrate on the parasympathetic too. Concentrate on this view. You can see the incoming vagus nerve, the 10th cranial nerve and the dotted red line. That is showing the pre-ganglionic or presynaptic parasympathetic fibers and how they are coming down and are going to supply the stomach and the various viscera's and they are supposed to run through various pre-vertebral ganglia right and uh, we should know the level up to which the vagus nerve is going to supply see on the left side that the left colic flexor up to this level after the transverse colon up to here vagus nerve is going to supply as a parasympathetic innervation now concentrate that what happens for the rest of the parasympathetic supply for this we have to again concentrate on the spinal cord segment that is the S2, S3, S4. From here pelvic splanchnic nerves are going to be formed. They are parasympathetic nerves, right? And uh, these pelvic splanchnic nerves 
are going to form pelvic plexus and reach towards the various organs as you can see and uh, from here the inner placed uh, myenteric mesenar nerve plexus or our batch nerve plexus uh, you should know about them are located inside the walls of the these intestine and uh, these pelvic splanctic nerves are reaching up to these ganglia and from here you can see that the post ganglionic which are very small in uh, length you would say are gonna supply the respected viscera right now for the now we have to learn about the myenteric nerve plexus or enteric nervous system which is called as intrinsic nervous system you can see a cut section of the intestine this is the outer longitudinal muscular layer and this is the inner circular layer or which we label it as muscularis externa in between them you see the buried intrinsic post synaptic neurons right and uh, they are going to form the myenteric nerve plexus or our batch nerve plexus and uh, uh, now you can see that there lies the submucosa and how they are being splayed for this we have to concentrate that presynaptic parasympathetic or vagal fibers and uh, what else the presynaptic sympathetic splanchnic fibers and from the viscera the incoming visceral afferent fibers where they are you would say gathered at prevertebral sympathetic ganglion and they are supposed to form peri arterial plexus right and you can see the post synaptic sympathetic fibers they are supposed to run towards the respected organ right and this is how we should know that how the innovation of your abdominal viscera is being completed